We're in trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirt You act like the bad guy I'm not ready to film this yet, but somebody will not wait for the blackberries. I have washed them. There was one in there that wasn't any good, but the rest are great. Um, I took them away from him. I tried giving him other things, but he actually used the bin to climb up and get them because he's very keen. So there was a pun of blackberries that won't be there in about 10 oh. seconds. Is yummy? Is it yummy? <laughs> Yes, it's yummy. Don't kick the food. Done? <laughs> yes, they're all gone. Say done. done. Good work. Now let's hop off the counter, huh? Hi Come guys. here. It's Emily from Mustard Out Free Girl here, back with another grocery haul for you all. This is an A4 community services hamper haul. I pay $40 for these. We go about once a month. And we got a huge haul. I'm actually going to do this one in two parts because it doesn't all fit on my bench. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Sorry that this video has been so late and has been a hiatus. I have been deathly ill um, and unable to do almost anything. So my house is a mess. My baby's playing outside. Um... And I'm doing this. This is the first grocery run I've done in, I don't know, probably almost two weeks. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, other than getting milk delivered because, yeah. So, stay tuned for that. Let's start down here. I got an entire pallet of bread. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the soft white wholemeal. Uh, most of this will be going into the freezer to be frozen and defrosted over the month. I've got one, two, these are too high, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the tip top sandwich thins. I have two soft white toast, which will be great because hubby doesn't eat wholemeal or any of that, so these will be his work conches. We've got some white hamburger soft rolls here, which were reduced and donated by Woolies, obviously. A pack of bagels, uh, I ripped this bringing it in, so this is fine. I'm gonna rebag this and this will go into the freezer. My kids have never had bagels, so that's exciting. And that's it for the bread. Then we have in the meat section, which I'm super excited about, this white Hungarian salami, which will be awesome. This is also gluten-free, thank you, Don. This Strasbourg, which again, gluten-free and a lot of flavor. This will be great for like a poor man's meal or a sheep ham. Another packet of these little mini cabanas, which are great for uh, lunch boxes. We've got a Primo Thin Sausages, which should be gluten-free. I haven't quite checked. There you go, gluten-free, um, which is great. That'll do us one dinner. A pack of eight does us one dinner, so it's probably a curried sausages there. We have six of these. We have chicken and veg casserole with rice. Sorry, there you go. Chicken and veg casserole with rice. Battered fish and vegetables, chicken and veg casserole with rice, prawn and fish stir fry, and ham and vegetable risotto. So they'll go directly into the freezer. And I think we only have a couple of these left. My kids had one of these last night for dinner. We also have, yes, there is a leaf baby boy. A leaf. Oh, mommy. Cool, thank you. You go put it on, put it back? And put it somewhere special? Yeah. We have a chicken and vegetable casserole. We have a big, this feels about like one kilo of diced chicken breast, which will do us two meals. Yes, you want a mandarin? I'll get you a mandarin. Sorry, I had to do some morning tea for my boy. You can see my yard is a mess. All right, I'm back. I said afternoon tea, but it's morning tea, but it's actually afternoon. Uh, we got some sliced boneless leg ham for lunches. We have some Wagyu beef burgers which are probably not gluten-free. Uh, no, are gluten-free, which should be good. Um, we have some four cheese tortellini. We have some meat-free deli-style chicken. 
We have four of those uh, Caterer's Choice biscuits that the kids like. Four of these lemon myrtle chocolate drizzle shortbread Santa cookies. Not gluten free, obviously. Four of these little hospital arts biscuits. Three of these oat filled balls that the kids love. Um, baby loves, the kids don't. One packet of cheese flavored rice crackers. One kilo pack of Vietnamese long rice, which you don't make like normal rice, which is weird. One of the 300 gram packs of pasta, a little peanut butter, a toilet paper, a little meal replacement um, protein drink, which I'm actually going to give to my neighbors because they'll drink that. We won't. A multi-grain rice crisp bread, a big watermelon, a packet of the bluey pizza crisps, a pizza cookies, a thing of Chinese chicken stock, a mini Coke, a Arizona iced tea, two of these 1 billion probiotic drinks, a maxi kinder surprise egg, which I'll have to stash before my kids find it, a bacterial mouthwash, a oil, which is good. It's good to get some staples. These are Master Foods lamb seasoning. Um, packets. This is a good example of like how you could build a small stockpile while getting these um, food hampers because obviously you're not going to use, uh, you're probably not going to use 10 of those little flavor packets in a month. So you can, you know, maybe use one or put them aside and then have them slowly over time. Uh, we have two of these classic vanilla yogurts, which will go in the freezer. Three little mini avocado dips, which would be great for my big kid. He loves avocado. We're not a huge fan, so we don't generally have it in the house. But these are nice and small for lunch boxes. Uh, one butter chicken, one spaghetti, and one baked beans. Two of these little rolly um, baby food bars. Two baby food puffs. Uh, five of these little tartare sauces. And a whole bunch of these you food cinnamon bun blondie bites and pavlova balls, uh, which again will be good for lunch boxes. So that is our pantry slash frozen meat uh, and bread haul. I'm gonna put all this frozen, um, all the cold stuff away, all the meat away, and then I'm going to go through, take you through that box of veggies there. I've already started to lay it out, but it wasn't all gonna fit. Back again, that is the same watermelon, but I think there's no point in moving it. So it's about to do my produce haul. We got two Wombok cabbages, which are nice and fresh. I might make some kimchi, I might make some sauerkraut, I might just have it as is. Um, great timing on this because we actually used our very last apple yesterday. We did have some mandarins that you would have seen in a lot in another haul, or it might be in the haul after this because it's kind of a hybrid video with a haul and some cooking, and I haven't edited it yet, so this might go up first. Um, but with that big box of apples we got with the 135 apples, that lasted us, I think, two-ish weeks, a little bit less. Um, so good timing on the apples. We've got four tomatoes, which are perfect. We had five bananas, one's been sacrificed to the baby. Two pears, three avocados, two green capsicums with some spots, but I'll chop them up. One red capsicum and all of these oranges, which is good. I still have some oranges from those $2 bags I bought, um, but I was getting very low, so this is good. School lunches and um, just the kids snack on these rather than eating um, expensive snacks. Also, this isn't from this haul, but um, Hubby went and did a favor for a friend on the weekend and he sent him home with all of these beautiful lemons for me. So there is a bunch of lemons there that we got for free. I will make them into lemon butter and use them in cooking. So yeah, that is it. So that is the end of this haul. Um, I'm gonna go and put it all away, um, process. Some of those apples have some spots on them. So I'm gonna cut them up, dice them up, and probably stew them for like apple pie filling, which I then use in my apple and cinnamon cakes and muffins and cobblers and pies. So I might do that. I've got those lemons that I'm gonna turn into lemon butter when I'm feeling better. Um, sauerkraut and kimchi as well when I'm feeling better, but 
really today I'm just going to process anything that's soft or anything that's not going to last a couple of days and then I'm going to go back to bed because I'm in so much pain <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching I will catch you guys in the next one don't forget if you like this kind of content to like comment subscribe click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos which is meant to be every other day and we'll hopefully be back to that very soon as soon as my body decides to stop murdering me Playing trances Going all to different places Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing